This response is brought to you in part by Green Media Graphics. Hello everyone. Today's response is for Tight Natural on Twitter. His name is Larry and he's going to Costa Rica for five days and he wanted to know where he can go and see beaches and rainforests and I think I found the perfect place for him to go. Okay Larry, I think that you should go to Hako, okay? Hako is on the Pacific side of Costa Rica and this is one of the main surf towns. This beach isn't the main surf break though. The main surf break is at Playa Hermosa which is over here on this side of um, on this. This is Playa Hermosa. These are probably the best waves in Costa Rica besides Witch's Rock but that's all the way by Nicaragua. Okay so here we are in Jaco, okay? This is a small town. It's literally two streets and they're expanding now, as you can see. And I think you should do these few things. I think you should go to see Playa Jaco, Jaco, which is this main beach, okay? It feels like Jurassic Park because this is all mountains over here and when you're standing over here and you look down, you're like, wow, this is incredible, all right? And then, if you're gonna stay in a hotel, I think you should stay at Pochote Grande, which is the hotel I stayed at. And they're right on the beach, right here at the end, right? And then, if you don't wanna stay in a hotel and you wanna save money and you wanna go to a hostel, the hostel that I found is called Las Camas hotel Hostel. It's, uh, it's It was started by two European backpackers, and it's somewhere on this side of Jaco. So you definitely have to check that out. Just Google it and you'll find it. Okay, and then um, there's a few different things you need to do, okay? You have to, if you want, you can go to Hako Bungee, which is a, a, you could jump off a crane into a pool. They used to have it in La Fortuna. That's where I did it, but now they moved to Hako and they're located right over here somewhere in the middle of town. And it's pretty exciting, I mean, jumping off a crane I mean, I like bungee jumping, I don't know if you do, but it's a great experience. Then another thing you have to do is go to Rainforest Aerial Tram, that's the name of the company. And they will take you up here into the rainforest and they will take you up a tram to the top and then you'll come down uh, using a zip line, using a canopy tour. And it's very exciting because you can see the whole entire, I mean you can see the rainforest, the views of the whole entire country. I mean. It's a very cool thing to do. You have to do this while you're in Costa Rica. I mean, there's no other reason to go to Costa Rica unless you're gonna go into the rainforest and you're gonna go to, and you're gonna go to beaches and surf, okay? And then um, you should definitely go to Wishbone and eat tacos there. They also have amazing burrito. Uh, we filmed the place, so if you want, you can check out on my website the location. And um, all right, so one of the day trips that you have to take is to Tarcoles. Tarcoles is a little town about an hour north of Jaco. It's right here. And the only thing you're, you're gonna do here is go see the Crocodile Man tour. Some guy from Costa Rica takes you out on his boat and he jumps in the water and starts feeding 15 foot crocodiles. Now, Tarcoles in the native language of uh, the old language that was here, Tarcoles means crocodile and this river has the largest amount of crocodiles per square mile in all of the Americas and they have the biggest crocs in the world. Well, they say they have the biggest croc in the world, crocs in the world. They say that the biggest one they've caught is like 22 feet, which is huge. And so you can see it right here. They take you in and through here and you can see all the crocs. This guy gets in the water. If you want, you can just go to my website and check out the video. It's pretty exciting. All right, okay, so that's one day, no? I'd say two days max in Hako, and, and go to Playa Hermosa, you know, in the morning one day, and just go surfing, and you can go eat at the backyard, which is one of the restaurants there in Playa Hako. There's actually nothing in Playa Hako except houses, and this is the only hotel slash restaurant. It's called the backyard. And then, I'd say, you should go two days to Manuel Antonio, which is right here. You see how it goes right here. You just gotta take this, you have to take a bus down here to Manuel Antonio. Now, Manuel Antonio is famous for their national park and they have signs all over the city that say that they have more monkeys than people, which is actually true. They have a lot of capuchin monkeys, cappuccino monkeys, all right? Um, 
this town is on a little mountain, so the whole town is going up and down. Um, you would need either just uh, you know, you just take a taxi. He'll just take you around. I mean, the town is very very small. He'll take you down here to the the beach, which is called Playa Espandilla, right? It's very very cool because it has this the Manuel Antonio National Park is this area and from here if you check out one of my videos called Playa Espandilla you'll see how it looks okay and then they have a restaurant they have two restaurants that you should look at La Cantina Barbecue which is a, a barbecue they just have um, meats uh, chicken you know different types of sausages very good food and you should also check out El Avion El Avion is a restaurant that's inside a old cargo plane that they, they took it apart and they brought it up to the top of the mountain and from there you have great views they also have a bar inside the plane so if you're there at night which you should be because you, sh you should stay here for two days um, it's a very cool place you have to check it out great views food is delicious definitely go look at, it, at that place um, All right, and then the one, uh, you should stay probably at this hostel called Hostel Vista Serena. And that hostel, I was looking on the map, but I couldn't really find it. It should be right here along, yeah, let me zoom out, sorry. It should be right here along this, okay? Or maybe it's in here because this is, I see a lot of hotels inside here. And you should definitely go into the, the national park. See, this is the national park, but it's this whole area. You should go in the National Park on a little tour and see the monkeys and uh, the sloths. I mean, it's full of wildlife. Um, very beautiful location. If I had some more time, I would have gone all around here. It's very cool. Okay. All right, Larry, so I hope you enjoyed my tips. Um, I think this is a perfect trip for you. Five days is, I mean, you're going to be cutting it close. Maybe add the six for depart departure. Um, it just from Manuel Antonio to San Jose might be like four hours. So remember that you have to go back. You have to go back, make your way all the way back to Jaco, and then from there back to San Jose. That's the only way back. Um, there's no other real route because this is all mountain area. Okay. So I hope you enjoy my tips. For everyone else, keep asking questions, and I'm gonna keep answering. Take care. Have a good time.